Hi students, um, I want to take some time with this video to recommend another good app for practice at home on your tablet or on your smartphone. Um, this app is available on both the Google Play Store and the Apple iOS app market. Um, we have talked about this app from time to time in class um, in regards to improving our verb understanding and improving our spelling. So let me open up my Play Store and we're going to search for the app called Irregular, Irregular Verbs of English. So we are searching for Irregular Verbs of English. Um, the app that I am looking for the app that I think is one of the better irregular verb apps has this green icon, a green image showing the American flag, the United States flag, and the British flag um, side by side. And this app is created by um, one specific developer. You will find this app on the Apple App Store as well as the Google App, the Google Play Store. If I search irregular verbs English, I need to scroll down quite a way before I find that app, but I want to search for irregular verbs of English. Now, if you have another verb recommendation, another app that you really like for irregular verbs, please leave me the recommendation in the comments under this video. I would be very happy to um, check into any other apps that you like. The reason that I like this app um, is because it gives a clean um, interface, a clean screen with very few interruptions. There is, there are advertisements on the bottom of the screen. Um, they can just be ignored. You see that there are four main icons. The first icon on the screen says three forms. There is an icon that says definition, an icon that says flashcards, and an icon that says table. Now, I would recommend by starting in the three forms of a verb, it gives me the simple, it gives me the infinitive, the unchanged verb, and then I am spelling, ooh, let me turn my volume down. I am spelling the simple past, begin, incorrect, began, and my third verb then, begun. Give, yesterday I gave, I have given. See, yesterday I saw, I have seen. Do, yesterday I did, I have done. When I click back out, um, it's going to keep my progress. So I've already completed, I've already completed those other four and it shows me being at um, number five. So um, what I can do is I can go into my settings and I can reset my progress. Uh, this button here allows me to reset my progress and this will take me back to the beginning. Do you want to reset all progress? Yes. And now I'm starting over again with begin, began, begun. Um, the other option that I like in this app is the option of the flashcard. You see here we have the option of the flashcard. Um, let me click in and show you the flashcard. The flashcard gives me a verb um, and then it's giving me the definition along with the second and third form of the verb. Now if I if I didn't know the verb, I'm clicking on this button and then it will keep the flashcard for a while to show me again. If I already knew this verb, I'm going to click here on the green button and it won't show me this word again. Um, for C, anticipate, predict, to know something beforehand. I'm going to click that I didn't know this verb. Stand, I think stand, yesterday I stood, I have stood. 
Ah, perfect. I knew this verb. Fling. Ooh, I don't know this verb. I click this question mark. And then it will, after some time, show me those words again that I didn't know. Um, there is this definition. This is m a lot more difficult. Um, it's giving me the definition and it's asking me to guess the verb. So this definition says to consume a liquid through the mouth. So think about liquid, milk, water, um, juice, through my mouth. This word is drink. To travel through the air. Three letters. This word is fly. To encounter or discover something that you are looking for. Um, I think this is find. Again, you click incorrectly, it pushes out that letter, find. Um, small advertisement, annoying, but sometimes necessary in apps. Click the X to close. Okay. The last choice here is this choice of table, and truly this is just a list of verbs. Um, I don't think it's very helpful for us to memorize. It's more helpful for us to practice in those three forms, practice the flashcard, or practice with those definitions. I recommend this app to students who want to practice their spelling, students who struggle with those, especially those less common verbs in the past tense or in the third verb in the participle. So I hope you find this app to be helpful. Again, when you are in your app store, you are searching for irregular verbs of English, and you are looking for this advertisement, um, this icon, this picture showing the American and English flags. I hope that you enjoy this app. Let me know in the comments if you have any other apps that you enjoy um, for irregular verbs. Until next time, students. Bye.